So the next step after uh, cutting up the pineapple and getting some of my mess cleaned up, I've already got three trays of these uh, in the freezer. So I just need to add one more tray for my full freeze dryer load. So we're just gonna pile these on here. I don't wanna get them too thick. I wanna make sure they're not too much stacked on top of each other so that they actually have a little bit of room to freeze and pull the moisture out of. That looks pretty good. I think my other trays are probably a little bit lighter, but I'm gonna go with this. So I have that much pineapple left over for, mm, about a pineapple upside down cake. That sounds lovely. And I'm gonna pop this in the freezer, uh, probably freeze it for about 24 hours, and then I'll pop them in the freeze dryer. And uh, when we get to that point, I'll show you how that works. Okay, time to uh, do the next step of the pineapple preservation that I'm doing. Um, for anybody who's not ever seen one of these before, this is a Harvest Right freeze dryer. I have the medium size, which means I have uh, four trays and I can do eight to 10 pounds of food at a time. And if you've never experienced freeze dried food before, uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Sometimes good, sometimes not so good, um, but I use mine a lot. And today I'm going to be putting in my trays of chunked pineapple that I did yesterday. Put them in the freezer overnight so they're all nice and frozen and um, here we go okay we've been cooling for 15 minutes so we got the chamber all cooled and now it's time to just slide the trays in it's really a pretty simple process the machine does uh, most of the work so oops. these are my trays of pineapple here just gonna slide those in six hours probably and sit here and do all the work for me so what it does is it freezes it to minus 50 degrees and then the pump comes on and it creates a pressure in there and that pressure pushes all the moisture out and it forms into ice crystals on the inside of the tube here and uh, then your your food is like it takes all the moisture out of the food and it will last for like 25 years if you store it properly so that's why I love doing it. Okay so there's my uh, trays of pineapple. They went for about 48 hours. Uh, part of that was just because I was having drinks by the fire pit and I didn't feel like taking care of it so I just gave them some extra dry time but they're crunchy and dry and oh so delicious. So now we'll take them and I'll put them in these half gallon jars and uh, seal them up and they probably won't make it to the mylar bags because we just eat it so fast so 